Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever it happens to be for you, wherever you are in the world, because um, I guess these are getting watched all over the world, so awesome. That was my goal for these, so thank you for uh, putting up with me. I'm going to talk about Libya, um, Libya, Tunisia, Egypt. Uh, there's a video out called um, Three Big Pigs. And it's by a guy over in Russia. Um, phenomenal. Just go Google Three Big Pigs. Uh, go to RT, uh, Russia Today television channel, or YouTube channel, and they've uh, got an article on it. You can uh, get a link to it from there. Um, it's it's a fun little thing. It's, it's kind of based off of, uh, you know, obviously the Three Little Pigs, and he uses, you know, Twitter and the... Uh, the Angry Birds game as one of the ideas for it and you know it's it's a fun little video it's only about you know not quite two minutes long <coughs> um, Syria there's more rioting and um, shooting of protesters and stuff in Syria uh, Saudi Arabia has been okay to basically invade Bahrain um, oh let me guess that would be because the fifth fleet is over there no, couldn't be that. Um, Yemen, um, the Ivory Coast. Oh my God, you! If you don't know what's going on with the Ivory Coast, you need to go and and and. I'm not going to tell you to go and look at the pictures because I have not personally gotten up the stomach to go and look at them because yeah, I'm I'm not scared of a little bit of gore, you know. Hostile, some of those movies like that, not the big deal because I intellectually I know it's a movie. The problem is that you know when you're seeing some of these pictures and you know that it's that it's real that that was a human being that some of these things were done to. There's there's a difference there, and um, I I got a couple of comments on my Twitter thing about it, or. Um, not comments, I guess, but um, I made a comment about it. That during the Libya thing, uh, or the beginning of the Libya uprising, revolution, you know, whatever you want to call it, uh, there was, you know, all these pictures coming out, and, you know, I wanted to see what was really going on, so I was clicking on a lot of these pictures, and eventually I just tweeted that, you know, I will retweet the pictures, but I am no longer going to look at them because I can't. It, they're too bad. They're too awful. Um, the 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 Ivory Coast right now, the the troops just went into this town and killed like a thousand people. And now the French and UN has gone in and have taken over the uh, Adib John Adib John Airport Abid. Abidjan, there we go, and uh, the thing is, is that the, the the ones that supposedly had killed all these people are the ones that the UN is going in there to help. It's so bloody fucking insane that I don't even have, I don't even know where to go with 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 trying to comment on it. It's there's no way to make any sense of what they're doing. You know, they, they, they say one thing and they're doing another. And it's, and it's what's been happening for a long time now. Um, the Koran burning. This idiot down in Florida, Terry Jones. And it's, that's the only word for I have for this guy. He's an idiot. You know, supposedly the Pentagon... And, you know, Obama actually sent a personal message to this guy saying, you know, you shouldn't burn this Koran. So now he finally goes and does it. And, oh, my God, guess what happens? The peace-loving Islam, you know, Mus uh, Muslims, Mujahideen, whatever, over in Afghanistan, they're freaking out. And they go and they raid the U.N. compound in mazar -e sharif And they killed, like... 20 people and injured like 100 people you know they beheaded a couple of them and you know i watched one of the videos and 
they didn't show any of the bodies or anything like that, which I was glad of because I didn't really want to see that. But they show these guys, and, you know, I don't get it. There's this one guy, and he's like, he's, he's, he's crying, he's like tearing his hair out and whatever, and it's like, you know, dude, it's some douchebag trying to make a point to burn a book. You know, I personally am against burning any books, although I would wholeheartedly burn um, um, Cass Sunstein's book. Um, you know, there's a few of them out there, you know, that I can see burning. But general, on a general principle, don't burn books. And, you know, if you're going to burn a Koran, burn a Torah, burn a Bible, you know, burn them all at once. That way you're not being discriminatory. But if you're not going to do that, then don't do any of them. You know, I personally don't agree with a lot of things that are written in the Quran. I personally don't agree with some of the things that are written or interpreted from the Torah. I personally don't believe some of the things that are written or interpreted to be in the Bible. That doesn't mean that I think that they're should be you know burned or banned but I will say this about um, Islam you people are not for freedom okay hold on let me rephrase that if you want Sharia law if you want I mean if you want Orthodox Mohammedan or Islamic Sharia faith that is not freedom. That is slavery and death. Now, if you have the ability to separate, you know, your following Islam and Sharia, and my ability to say, I'm not going to follow any of them. Because I think they're all fucking half insane. Then we can sit down and have a conversation. But if you if you can't understand that there are going to be people who disagree with you and they have the right to disagree, then you don't have the right to disagree with us. Because if if I don't believe that you have the right to disagree with me, then it just doesn't make any sense. Do you, you know, I'm probably not being very clear on this, but if I think the world would be better off if there were no organized religions, if we could get back to what Jesus actually taught, if we could get back to what Buddha actually taught, if we could get back to what Muhammad actually taught, and not everything else that's been added in, I think the world would definitely be a better place. But is that the only way to go? No. I personally uh, am somewhat uh, of a follower of, of the Buddhist teachings. I am a little bit of a follower of the Zen and even uh, um, Shinto. You know, I follow uh, certain things that are in the Native American. I follow um, some things that are from the ancient Sumerian faith. There's, 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 there's truth in a lot of different places and you cannot say that you know the Quran is the only one it may be the only one for you but that doesn't mean because you believe it's the only one that I have to believe that and if you don't understand that then like I said I don't even want to sit down and try and have a conversation with you because that's that's what it comes down to now like I said if you can understand that and you can sit down and say all right I disagree with you but that's that's all there is to it you know I can't force you to change your mind and then again you can't force me to change my mind that's the way it should be we should be able to sit down and discuss our differences and say I don't agree with you but I'm not going to try to force you to believe what I believe, regardless of what it is that I believe. Because that's 
liberty, that's freedom, you know. And I, I did a video, Liberty versus Freedom, and, you know, if you want to, if you want to go and check that out, um, I think I put part of this that I'm trying to explain into perspective in that video. So, um, the, the world is just going insane, and I think that the, the, the powers that be, quote unquote, um, the people who manipulate money and governments, I think they want this chaos. They need this chaos because if there's not this chaos, then we can stop and think about what's going on and we can organize and we can sit down and we can say, all right, food prices are going through the roof. Gas prices are going through the roof. Why? You know, what, what is the, is the thing that is making all this happen? And what it comes down to it is the fact that, you know, the Federal Reserves and the central banks are simply just printing money out of nothing. And they're just, they're just shoveling it out the door, but it's not getting anywhere past their buddies in the other banks, you know, and if you don't believe that, go look at the the stories on where the the bailout money went to go look at what happened with the uh the uh um, the discount borrowers window at the fed and all the money that went to foreign corporations and banks you know 73 loans to the libyan national bank seriously 73 loans why you know um I'm I'm at a loss, really, where to go with any other analysis on this right now. So um, I'm just going to recommend you go and check out uh, Webster Tarpley, World Crisis Radio. Um, check out Rents. Check out Infowars, and you know, just just read everything, listen to everyone, and make up your own mind. You know, uh, Twitter. Go on Twitter and just you know. Uh, find some of these guys that are actually over there and are, um, are are tweeting what's going on from on at the scene. You know, that's it's amazing. I have gotten to the point where I don't even bother to check the news or the internet. I go to my Twitter if something happens, or if somebody tells me that something happened, I go check Twitter. It's such a phenomenal news source that um, I think. Things like that are really, really are going to change the world. You know, um, honestly, fuck Facebook, uh, fuck MySpace. You know, I'm not into any of the other ones. I didn't think I was really going to like Twitter when I first got on it, but it's, it's awesome. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's it for what I got. Peace. Um, stay strong. Uh, like I said, if you want freedom, I wholeheartedly support you. If you don't understand that, then I guess you don't understand. So, um, God be with everyone and, you know, just be aware and be safe and be careful. Peace.